welcome to another episode of WCU Weekend, where we're here to let you know what's going on this weekend. So, Sunny, how was your weekend last weekend? It was pretty good. I studied. I chilled with my friends. It was pretty good. How That's about you? good. That sounds like a solid weekend. Yeah. Um, I actually, it was my birthday Saturday, and Ooh. I had a surprise party. I was very surprised. Um, my parents came, some friends that graduated, some friends that didn't graduate. So yeah. it was a it was a surprise. Oh, <laughs> it was fun. happy birthday. Thank you. Thank so we're here you. to make your weekend fun. So getting into your weekend news. WCU Live presents the Ensemble Espanol Spanish Dance Theater in a performance that shares the rich traditions of dance, music, literature, and cultures of Spain. Interpretations of Spanish folk styles and the power of flamenco are featured. Tickets are $15 for students and $17 for adults, $20 for orchestra seating. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. in the Emily K. Espelon Concert Hall. That sounds like something you're not going to want to yes. miss. I am interested. <laughs> Thursday and Friday, February 25th and 26th, Westchester Borough is bringing the country's largest environmental film festival to our area for the ninth year, with proceeds equally benefiting, benefiting the Land Conservancy for Southern Chester County and Stroud Water Preserve. Highlights include delicious local food and drink and nationally acclaimed short independent films and documentaries featuring outdoor adventures, nature, and environmental issues meant to inspire and entertain. Tickets are $25 for one night, $45 for two nights. Save five when you go both nights, plus you won't miss a film. This is a must-see for film lovers. That's so cool. I like films, so Netflix. Me too, yeah. So oh, cool. yes, very true. <laughs> Westchester University's 10th Annual International Trumpet Festival will be held in the Swope Music Building on February 26th through the 27th. This year's festival will include concerts, clinics, and the Participant Trumpet Ensemble. We will also have an Exhibitors Hall open all day Saturday. Tickets are 25 for students and 30 for adults. Trumpet what? Festival. I've yeah. never heard of that. Me either, I'm but I'm interested. That. That, one's, that sounds like a cool one. Yeah. The Theater 403 Advanced Production Seminar class presents The What the Water Gave Me. Using the diary and artwork of Frida Kahlo as a point of departure, students will devise a new piece of theater to be performed in the J.P. Adler Studio Theater. Every aspect of this production, from the script to the lights, costumes, and sets, will be generated by the students under the guidance of Professor John Belomo. Showtimes are Friday at 8 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., and 8 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. General admission is $10. Sounds like a, sounds like a pretty cool student. And it's all student run. Yeah, student run thing. That's cool. Very cool. Well, Alpha Phi Omega is sponsoring the very first Dub C Dance-A-Thon this Saturday, Ooh. February 27th in Sykes Ballrooms. The 12 hours of non-stop dancing begins at 12 p.m. and ends at midnight. The Dub C dance -a benefits the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Registration is available at the link below. Donations are always welcome. Next, we'll go to Sean with the sports report. Sean? Thanks, Peyton. Hello and welcome back for another sports update brought to you by WCU Weekend. First off, we would like to congratulate the WCU Student Athletes of the Week. First is Victor Polyakov. He was named the most outstanding swimmer for the second time in three years as he led Westchester University's men's swimming team to its 18th consecutive PSAC championship Sunday at the York YMCA's Graham Aquatic Center. Go Victor! Second is Dallas Ely for the women's basketball team here. Ely scored a team-high 27 points, shooting 50% from the field and 60% from the three-point range as the Golden Rams fell to Millersville by nine on Saturday. However, her 27 points bumped herself up to 1561 career points as she became the all-time scoring leader in school history, surpassing Keisha Mock, who led with 1556 before Ely broke the record on Saturday. Congratulations to both Dallas and Victor. As for this weekend, WCU has plenty of sporting events taking place. This Friday, the men's baseball team plays against Philadelphia University in Colonial Heights, Virginia at 4 p.m. Also, Women's Gymnastic participates in tournament where they will face off against Southern Connecticut State University, Penn State University, West Virginia University, and Temple University at 5 p.m. On Saturday, the men's baseball team plays St. Thomas Aquinas College at 9 a.m. and then Slippery Rock University at 12 p.m. in Dinwiddie, Virginia. The women's softball team will play Barton College at both 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. here at WCU. Last but not least, men's and women's track and field will be at their PSAC Indoor Championships all day Saturday. The weekend finally wraps up on a Sunday schedule similar to Saturday's. The women's softball team will play Chowan University at 11 a.m. And, and again at 1 p.m. at home. Then the men's and women's track and field will finish up their final day at the PSAC Indoor Championships. Good luck, everyone. 
And that does it for another segment at WCU Weekend Sports. Good luck to all our teams and athletes. And now over to Kristen with details on this week's Sykes After Dark event. Kristen? Thanks, Sean. Bust a move this weekend at Sykes After Dark. This Friday, SAC is hosting Ram Glow, which is an EDM dance party. Laser lights and glow sticks will set the mood of the party. Ram Glow will be featuring two local DJs, Burn Bomb and DJ Ironic. There will also be multiple giveaways, including a 42-inch TV. Ram Glow will be hosted in the Sykes Ballroom from 9 p.m. until 1 a.m. Be sure to come out to Sykes for the party of the semester. Now we're going to throw it to Taylor with details about the SAC movie. Taylor? Thanks, Kristen. Hey guys, if you want to relax with some popcorn and a movie this weekend, then come to the Sykes Theater to watch Creed, a drama-filled sports movie about a young man played by Michael B. Jordan who wants to follow in his famous father's footsteps as a boxing champion. With the help of Rocky Balboa as his trainer, played by Sylvester Stallone, he fights his way to the top, but whether he has the true heart of a fighter becomes the ultimate battle. Now back to you guys, Sonny and Peyton. Thanks, Taylor. We hope you enjoyed this episode of WC Weekend. Have a good weekend, Westchester. Yeah. Last time. <laughs> I am so sorry. Let me show for a minute. Sorry.